Hello friends and welcome to my channel. Today we will be talking about the ultrasound of the anterior talofibular ligament. Uh, so let us have a look at its anatomy. So this ligament is from the lateral malleolus, okay, and it runs anteromedially to get inserted on the talus. This ligament is the one which can have a single band, which can have a double band, or even the literature says it can have even three bands also. This ligament limits the anterior displacement of the talus and, of course, uh, the plantar flexion. And this is the most commonly injured ligament when we are talking about the ligamentous injury of the uh, ankle ligament. Now, I'll just teach you a very, uh, you know, simple technique to identify this ligament in one go is, first of all, we will be just palpating this lateral malleolus, right? And everything, whatever I'm going to uh, show you here, we will be just having a look uh, in the demonstration video. So first, we will be palpating this lateral malleolus and we will be keeping our probe in short axis over this. So once we are doing so, we will be able to see the tibia and the fibula in the short axis. So once we have identified that, what we are going to do is we will be just sliding down. The moment we'll be sliding down, this tibia will disappear from our view and the talus will come, right? Like this with the articular cartilage over it. Now, once you have identified this talus with the articular cartilage over it, what are we supposed to do is we are supposed to orient. So our probe approximately at that moment will be like this. Okay. So what we are supposed to do, we will be orienting the medial side of our probe in such a manner that this will be lying towards the ball of the great toe. So in that manner, if we are doing it, we will be able to uh, see this um, ATFL very nicely. So again, I'm repeating it so that when we are just seeing the demonstration, the things become very much easy for us to understand. So first probe position is going to be, this is the lateral malleolus. So we are going to keep it here. This will be the probe one, right? And then we will be sliding our probe downwards. Once we are sliding our probe downwards, this tibia, okay, will disappear from our view. And the talus, okay, with the articular cartilage will start appearing, okay. And once you are able to see the talus with the articular cartilage, you are supposed to align, okay, so the second position will be this and the third position will be again the alignment of the probe in such a manner that this side will be fixed and the uh, side which is towards the talus or I should say the medial side you will be rotating it uh, towards the ball of the crate too. So in that condition you will be able to see the ATFL very nicely. So let us now see the demonstration of the ATFL. So for this, the patient is lying down in the lateral position. I have just kept a, a roll sheath uh, beneath the ankle joint so that this side is little much, uh, you know, lifted up and I'll be able to scan it properly. And uh, you need to have a high frequency linear probe in order to visualize that. I'm working with the frequency of 20 megahertz. And uh, to start the scanning, uh, first you need to palpate the lateral malleolus. So this is the lateral malleolus, which is a projection down from the lower end of the fibula. So if this is the lateral malleolus, right? So this should be the upper portion of it. So you are supposed to keep your probe exactly over this, right? With the aspect marker towards the lateral side. So now just see, this is the upper portion of it. So I'm just keeping my probe with the aspect marker towards the 
late result. Now, once I am doing that, right, so I will be able to um, see the fibula in the short axis and the tibia lying adjacent to it. Uh, the gist of the story is this bone should be lying in close approximation to each other when you are putting your probe in the short axis. So just to make sure that you have kept your probe exactly over that point. So at that point, just try to draw a line and these two bones, they should be uh, just equal, you know, uh, to each other. So once you have done that, what we will be doing is we will be just going down, maintaining the same orientation and you will see that this tibia will go off from our view and the talus will come. How are you supposed to identify the talus? The talus will be having the articular cartilage, which will be homogeneously hypoechoic and lying over the hyperechoic uh, periosteum of the talus. That is how you need to identify the talus, right? So once we are moving down from this place, if we are just going down, maintaining the same orientation, we will see that the tibia will go off you know, from our view and it will be the talus which will come into our view. So let us see that. So this was the position. Now from there, I'm just going down, going down. Now once I'm going down, you're able to see that the tibia has started disappearing. And another bone which you will see from here, it has started coming up, right? So you can see that it has come up and you are nicely able to see the, uh, you know, the talus with the articular cartilage over it. This hypoechoic, I should say, the one, the thing which you are able to see just lying on this bone is your cartilage. This is your ATFL, which you are seeing. But I'm just trying to uh, make it align exactly uh, like how it is oriented. In this also, you will be able to see the ATFL. We are able to see that it has got two bands, the superficial and the deep one, right? But to be uh, more, uh, you know, uh, orient your probe exactly in the line of, uh, you know, the way the fibers, they are going. So for that, you need to just tilt a little bit the end, which is towards the talus. You just try to orient it towards the ball of the great toe. And the moment you will be doing so, see how beautifully you will be able to see the ATFL. So that uh, finishes our demonstration for ATFL. I hope this video uh, really will help you in identifying the ATFL in a very uh, simple manner. And do join us and subscribe us for such interesting videos. Thank you so much.